Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back playing Absolute Thermal. Got my little mini ranch going on, got myself a bunch of friends. That'll make it a lot easier to get, you know, feathers and leather and all that kind of stuff. I don't think that there's a rancher block in the mod. I mean, it would be kind of handy. Uh, so, things that I did last night. Uh, last night, I played around with the Arcane and Sorcellator a little bit, and discovered some cool stuff, so... Let's take our book here, the Tome of Knowledge, and found out that the numbers that I see there, the 4878, that's not millibuckets. That's actual, like, Minecraft experience units. So, I had to forget the ratio. I think it's like 30 to 1. So, we get a ton of experience out of this. Now, I also discovered that I can fill this thing and empty it by changing modes and just clicking on it. So, no need for the fluid transposer. That's pretty cool. And by putting a uh, cache on top, oh, I was making stuff, I can, you know, stack load. So I'm going to take eight books and eight chests, and I'll throw them in here like this, and I'm going to make a whole bunch of holding. And then I can slap all of these holdings together, and I'll get holding four, which is what I've got right here. Now, oddly, the first thing I'm going to put holding on is the book, right? So... Let's do that. Uh, yeah, I got 12 levels on me. And now it can hold a lot more. It can hold 30,000 experience, and that'll really help me so I don't have a bunch of books just floating around. Now, I did put Efficiency 5 on the Flux Bore, and it's stupid with Efficiency 5. Like, I can just walk and mine 3x3s, three and I don't really have to stop. It's crazy. I love it. Now, the other book that I did make is Sharpness. And, you know, I want to put sharpness on my battle wrench, so that'll take 20. All right, so let's see. Got to go in the other direction, and here we go. Let's get 20 levels uh, right there. Right, so you and you, and now 17 attack damage. Hey, I'll take it. I like that. And what do I have left in the book? See, still got tons, even though this thing got filled up. And So let's see. Now it's emptied out. I really like that. So I'm going to slap together the holding books later on to make holding four, uh, because you can only make holding one in the Ensorcellator. And, you know, we'll go ahead and we'll put holding on this guy and that guy and these guys. And, you know, everything's going to get holding. What doesn't benefit from it? Now, because I got playing with this, I got thinking about some of the other blocks and our ability to make morbs. And I want to go and play with the morbs a little bit today. So let's grab some more morbs. Uh, let's see, right here, I should have everything. And I don't know, I'm going to take like 16 maybe. And we'll go ahead and... Can I do uses? No. So I need... I don't know how to find this, right? I guess I could right-click right there. Let's make a bunch of Signalum Nuggets. I don't know, is a stack enough? And let's do this, right? Throw those in there. There's 16. Okay. Got a bunch of reusable morbs. And we're going to go set up lava pumping and use it for remote power. So let me build some blocks here. I'm going to want to get myself a magmatic dynamo. I want to play with this a little bit. So let's get one of these dudes. Let's see. So right there, one magmatic dynamo. Uh, let's see what else I'm going to want. I think, you know, this is 40 RF a tick. Let's see how much power things take. I think that's going to be enough. Uh, I'm going to need a pump. Right, so I put in ranged pumps. I really like their pump. It just does a nice job. Let's get uh, this dude made, so you guys. Uh, and then we're going to need buckets of water and lava. Do I have... Oh, I got two buckets. All right, now where did I put the lava tank? Oh, you're over here. All right, got that one. Get a bucket of water. I need to put fluid storage online, but you know, one thing at a time. We'll get there. All right, so let's go ahead and make this guy. It's probably easiest just to go like that. There we go. Take out my buckets. All right, so I can pump. Uh, I'm probably going to want a tank, and specifically, I'm going to want some ender tanks. And white, white, white should be fine. Uh, you know, maybe I want maybe I want the the stuff on red. All right, so let's grab. Do nope, that's wood. I'm like, let's grab some wool here. And I only really need two pieces. Uh, let's do this. Let's grab some red dye. Yep, right there, rose red. 
right? Make U2. Oh, made four. Oh, well. And let's get some Ender Tanks. Ender Tank. Just like this. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cauldrons. Right? So a pair of those. And this. And then I'll change that out. And there we go. So it's a couple of pre-dyed tanks. That'll work. And I can put my buckets away. So I can pump lava, power the pump, and tank. And just for paranoia, let's take some fluid ducts with us. Right? So let's grab some hardened fluid ducts and servos just in case things don't work right. And then I'm going to want, actually, I'm going to want another magmatic dynamo uh, right here. I'll come back and upgrade these guys if they are not powerful enough. But I think just their base operation should work. Right? So let's get two of those. And do I have any kits? No, but, you know, I can make some. Right? So let's make some kits. Oops. Didn't mean to grab them already. Uh, just to be safe. Oh, I don't have the hardened... Oh, hardened copper glass. Oh, I did not. Or dictionary that. All right. Well, I mean, this will be enough. I'll fix that later. And, you know, I want to go try to get the creature something or other. Creature and cap later. And cap two later. Right? I want to try out this dude. Because I want to go get some blazes. All right. So a couple of iron gears... And what is that thing? That's a device frame, right? I went ahead and put this on auto crafting. Uh, let's just get a bunch of them. And so in cap two later. Uh, so I just need a dispenser, which probably means a bow, right? And then dispenser and then in cap two later. And that also means I'm going to need a way to process the morbs. And I got to look at that. So that is... A centrifugal separator with an instabulation apparatus. All right. Uh, instabulation. Instabulate. So, okay. Invar gear. Easy. Couple of diamond swords. Can do. Kind of spending the diamonds right now. Servo. You know, I probably should just make like a hundred of those. All right. Got that dude. And what was it? The centrifugal whatever. Centrifugal separator. All right. So compass. And let's see, a couple of copper gears, some of these coils. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep like a stockpile of those, right? And then it's just this machine frame. All right, so again, same thing, make me a bunch of those, right? And can I do that? There we go. All right, so I should be able to upgrade it. It'll kill them, right? It's going to capture them. Let's take some item ducks with us just to be safe. And... I'm going to need a place for things to go, right? I should get XP, so I'll take one of these tanks with me, and I should get uh, stuff. And for right now, for right now, I think I just want to put it in... Let's, let's play with the strong box. We haven't really played with the strong box. So let's get a strong box. I've already got some upgrade kits, right? One, two, three. Yeah, so four could go right there. Let me see if I can make some of these by hand. I think I've got the stuff, right? So, I don't know. I'm just going to make like 10 silver gears. Let's see if I can rip out some of these. All right. So, I just got to correct the recipe there. Not a big deal. I think, I think that's it. Let me just look at the morb. Because uh, specifically, I want to go get some blazes, right? So, if I take a morb with blazes, put it in the instabulation... I'm going to get the more back, a blaze rod, a sulfur, and some essence of knowledge. And I should be able to power it. Uh, I can look here. I can look. How much power are you going to take? You're going to take 20 RF a tick, so upgraded. And, you know, we could do that right now, right? Upgrade you. And we'll give you the augment. And so you're only 30, and you should produce 40. So that should, question should, be fine. Now, the one last thing I want to build is from Woosh. I am tired of using portals, so I'm going to need lead plates and invar plates and electrum. All right, let's make some plates. So, two lead. Hey, are you electrum? You are. All right. And invar. I think I can get up a couple of levels right now. And let's see. Let's come over here and right here. So, now that I got uh, RS online... I'm probably going to automate a lot of this, uh, just so we don't have to keep doing stuff like this, right? 
And you're pretty slow, and you probably could use a speed upgrade, so we'll get on that too. All right, right there, and then two of these. And then we should be able to make a whole bunch of these things, right? I should be able to get up to here, and the lower models say can't transport between dimensions, but this one does. So I want to try that. All right, so we will rip out uh, right there. You know, let's just make a bunch of these. All right, so let's get, nope, wrong one. Let's get the base model, and then let's upgrade it. Yep. Uh, okay, you got to go in there. All right, and upgrade it again. And you go in there. And what would you take to get up here? Yeah, I got to make a cryothium process. That's another episode. All right, so then I'm going to need some earls. Here, some pearls. Uh, so let me take eight, right? Because I'm going to have to fill this dude up. And I should be able to magma these guys down at decent speed and fill this dude up, right? So you should go like that. And do I have you set to accept? Uh, yeah, I like it best like that. Right, so let's get a little bit of fluid in here. I'm not sure how many teleports that's going to get me. But while that fills, I just thought of another thing I need to build, uh, which is the super sound muffler. Because I have got some villagers below me, and occasionally I can hear a moan. Right, so super sound muffler as a bobble. And let's go ahead and, let's see, uh, blacklist... Right? No, I want you to whitelist certain sounds, and it's going to be villager. Right? Villager. Villager. Uh, which one? Villager? No, that's zombie. Blah, blah, blah. Ambient. That's the one. There we go. And let's see. Red, green. All right. So can you go up there somewhere? And now I don't have to listen to the meh, you know, that noise anymore. All right. So here we go. Got this dude. And let's see, your modes are Teleport and Blink, and I want Teleport. And let's see, it's right-click to open the interface. And let's see, so we'll call this Home. And there we go. And then I think like this, and I can set the default. So if I go over here, and, oh, yeah, yeah, it's Shift-click to Teleport. There we go. And right-click to open, and that didn't take any of my Resonant Ender. All right, uh, so I'm going to make the uh, Dimension Jump. We're going to go to the Nether. So I will see you in just a minute. All right, so in the nether, and you know, I had to fix this. So I had it in the wrong mode. We had it on a whitelist. It needs to be blacklist, and that way I don't hear the sounds. And added the nether portal to it. All right, so somewhere here, I know where there's a blaze right there. And let's see if I can see where is the blaze. It's out this way. All right, so I'm going to travel to uh, get some, you know, a blaze spawner, and then we'll build our thing. All right, so blaze spawner should be just around the corner here. I went ahead and found one. Let's see, you're over here somewhere. Uh, yep, right there. And that was the exact one I was looking for, uh, because it's nice and exposed, and it's got a basement to it. So let's see if we can get in here real quick. And I'm going to need a couple of blocks. So, patow! There's some blocks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We've got, uh, where is the void? There we go. Got to turn this dude off. Because I need a couple of blocks to seal myself in here. Right? I don't want the blaze to get me. All right. Oh, we got to set up the pump. Hold on. We got to set up the pump. Well, we can do a twofer because there's lava right over here. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this right over here. All right, so taking a look at chunks, we are good right here. All right, let's get our pump down and our magmatic dynamo. And, you know, it should, right? It should do that. And I'm hoping that it fills, but I think I probably need an upgrade for that. And we'll do this. And where are my buckets? Where are the buckets? Right here. All right, so let's grab a bucket of lava, slap it in that dude. It's outputting power. You are, you are scanning, and you're empty. So I need to give you a minute to find lava. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, see, it's filling that, but it's not filling this. All right, so I need to put the coil side ducting upgrade on this dude. So was prepared for that to happen. 
right? Can't we do something like this? And yes. Okay, so we'll fill up this guy first. And let's see. Let's claim this guy and chunk load it. All right, so now we've got lava power online, right? Once this guy fills up, then I'll get some lava in this tank. That should continue to work. All right, back over to the blaze. All right, back at the blaze spawner. Now we can seal ourselves in here, right? Because I'm right below the spawner and those guys are gonna activate. So I'm gonna want the creature encapsulator and I guess I can stick it right there. It doesn't much matter, right? Is, uh, let's see, so right here, right? Let's just turn everything off right now, but it's gonna capture creatures. And let's see how we could do this. We'll put the instabulation whatever. And you know, there's really, in this 3x3 three three room, there's not really an ideal setup. Uh, but we'll go ahead. Oh, you know what? You know what I'll do? Let's, uh, let's put it underneath. Let's put it underneath. So you are going to, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to in and out, right? So you're going to capture creatures, drop them down in here. You're going to pull in. You're going to process the creatures, and I need to put your power supply right there. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. I don't think it'll output sideways, but we can fluid duct it, right? I'll, uh, I'll move everybody around here afterwards. All right, so you should get lava, and now you've got power. You're getting power. All right, so let's see. I'm going to take, oh, man, there's going to be no good way out of here. We'll take the XP that we're going to get, and we'll take it out to that side. Uh, that doesn't really matter. And I'm going to take the stuff. I guess I can do it this way. We'll take the stuff, so you're the back, right? And we'll take the stuff out of the back. Oh, but you know what? I need to get the morbs, which are going to come out right here. Ah, uh, you know what? I can do that. I can do it. We can do it with this item duct. Not not elegant, but it will work, right? And I can take uh, this, and I can whitelist just the reusable morb, right? And then turn that on. And that should work, right? That should work. All right, upgrade you, upgrade you again. And if I upgrade this dude, right? Are you already upgraded? No. So you'll produce a little bit more power, but you use a little bit more lava. All right, so if I put these guys in here, you should, right? You should, oh, oh, there it is. It just captured three blaze. And blaze, could you please output into this guy? All right, so clearly, uh, you're already upgraded once, so clearly you need to go faster. And you're instabulating away. And I must have gotten my drops. And it put them back in here. Right? Shouldn't you put those back up in there? Uh, do I have to... S I had to set this guy. Let's see. Right there. Right? And you should pull them. Yep, there we go. So, all I've got to do is lock myself in this room. I've already got a bucket of essence of knowledge. And I've got myself an automatic blaze farm. I love that. All lava powered and everything. Nice. So, little AFK time. And we're going to be super, super cool on blaze rods. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, by the way, let's take a look. Look at how stupid that is. Amazing. I love it. I love it. All right. So I think I'm going to call it there for today. That's exactly what I wanted to get done. I now have, uh, you know, ender tank lava, remote power. I'm on fire. And we've got ourselves a blaze farm. Need a little bit of steak. Yep, so I think I'm going to call it right there. So, I'm 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, hey, you know, drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and then I will see you in the next episode.